What's up guys, so uh, today I'm just going to read the Bible. Uh, if you want to pray before, you know what I'm saying, to absorb more uh, for, for a relationship with God, feel free. Real quick, you can get the Bible anywhere. You just search one of the books and then the chapter and then NIV or you can do ESV or any other good version. You have the list of books and... So the Bible uh, stands on its own. God speaks for himself uh, but I will just say that some of this stuff you just hear it and you're hearing the Bible for the first time some of it can be taken the wrong way very simple example and if your right hand causes you to stumble cut it off and throw it away Jesus isn't telling you to cut off your right hand you've got to find the truth in it because the more you read the Bible the more you get a sense of like what what is Jesus saying some of it is just direct now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter nor the least stroke of the pen will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commandments and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. And, and remember, you can look up meanings for this stuff. Um, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka is answerable to the court, and anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fire of hell. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and now remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Settle matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to court. Do it while you are still together on the way, or your adversary may hand you over to the judge, and the judge may hand you over to the officer, and you may be thrown into prison. Truly I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. It has been said, Anyone who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. But I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality makes her the victim of adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, 
or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, and do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Yeah, that chapter is full of verses which I feel like can easily be misunderstood. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like the pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, or from evil. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourself treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, if your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? The Greek for healthy here implies generous. The Greek for unhealthy here implies stingy. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. 
but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This one is one of my favorite chapters in the whole Bible. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give to dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Watch out for false prophets, they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes, or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear a good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus by their fruit you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you, away from me, you evildoers. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. So that's it. That's uh, that's the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, the next chapter is about... Um, some of his healing like it just goes this book this book Matthews 28 chapters of that length um, which I read pretty slowly and um, it's literally like Jesus's ministry you know the main part of his teachings uh, most of his life in the Bible so you know I'm saying if I search Matthew 1 this is the start of the book this one I think scares people off a bit because it's a list it's basically his family tree kind of his genealogy like his father his father's father etc etc um and then you know it does that and then this is like an introduction right the first three chapters so it's very interesting and then it gets to him being tempted then this and then yeah guys um thanks for watching i guess i mean praise god for us being able to hear these words and um you know uh what what i think you need to know with the bible and god and stuff is just seek and you'll find as as matthew 7 said uh just pray look for the answer you know make an effort because there's a lot of like lies and distortion and resistance and anxiety and discomfort and and laziness and procrastination and all this that like surfaces and i've experienced million many many a time um but when you walk forward you realize it's all like illusion so so what i'd say with all of this is is just you you want to like if you're exploring this you you want to be in a position where you're just moving forward 
you're not worrying if you get knocked you're just moving forward you know uh that's it like that's um if you learn more with a real heart and an open heart and a heart that's open to correction and if you're praying to god you know reading the word that's 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 powerful um and and the thing you just need to know is take responsibility for your your own searching for it you know what i'm saying like um a lot of people like I feel like they, they want to read the Bible, but they put it off and they think, oh, I'll read it here, or i got to do this first, or I don't have time. Uh, and then they kind of like feel bad after they don't do it, and then it scares them off more. And every time uh, someone reminds them of how, how little they've read the Bible, they feel bad. So like it just distances them. But forget all that, man. Like Just... Um, just walk forward you know and if if you lack the if you feel like you don't have the strength or you feel like you're distracted or or anxious or anything sinning whatever not good enough uh you know like you don't deserve to be saved pray to god put it before god because i tell you right now salvation is for everybody this is where god saves us and god helps us obey him and do good this isn't like you have to be a certain level of goodness to accept jesus do you get what I'm saying? It's the other way around. God makes us like, God transforms us. Um, and with that in mind, Jesus died for your sins. Um, this book will explain that. But the reason death is in the world in the first place is because um, of sin, of human sin um, and all that. And sin is very, very serious and um, it, it takes us away from God. So yeah you know that's why jesus lived a perfect life he obeyed god fully and and uh was was a sacrifice for us um like how they used to sacrifice animals in the old testament but a complete righteous version uh so yeah he died three days later he was raised from the the dead because you know uh death cannot hold uh god you know what i'm saying De death cannot hold god's word death cannot hold um perfect righteousness cannot hold jesus so um when you believe in jesus truly in your heart that's when you're saved um and that's when you can receive god's spirit and and god helps you live better god helps protect you god helps you be stronger god helps you um move forward so what it is with the genuine belief is like um that faith like justifies you does that make sense like jesus died in your place so so you don't earn your way to heaven um it's more like uh jesus is in your place but that doesn't mean you keep sinning you know what i'm saying that doesn't mean you you just live like um live like a sinner live like the world does and be like ah oh, thanks jesus like nah like um take this as m my my view of it you know what i'm saying uh, the truth is in the bible um and the, you can ask god but um my understanding of the bible is that when you have faith it's god gives it to you and that transforms you that that allows you to stop sinning etc so it may not be like you are absolutely perfect you never make mistakes all of this but um if if you live unrepentantly, you know, um, if you're constantly living in willful sin, that is a fruit of your your faith, right? So so for some people, I think that means they actually don't have genuine faith and they're not saved, which is a mad thing. But um, yeah, uh, so the Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, and uh, that's the idea, right? Repent, believe. Repent means a change of mind. Uh, I would guess a change of heart as well. So yeah, man, that's the that's pretty much the gospel of salvation from from my understanding. And um, and that isn't me wanting to make you like super afraid of making a little mistake. As I say, people slip up, people uh unwillfully sin. I, I guess etc. etc. But um, you know the the point is like God helps us repent. God helps us overcome the sin. God forgives us. So. You, you can slip many, many, many times. But the important part is like, I think the important part is, is aiming to have a genuine faith and a genuine repentance. And the Bible says, um, you know, something like, the Bible says, you believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. So I think faith is more than believing that Jesus and God exist. It is actually having a, a, a belief in the heart, right? 
a belief that that um I guess shapes the rest of you, I guess, and uh, that I think that's part of the process. I'm not saying that will happen immediately. I I, I don't want people to be like in this like darkness just because they feel like they're they're making mistakes but we don't want to be making willful mistakes for real and and i i i'm i'm saying that as somebody who who um has and can slip up like but but i believe this is the truth um but i think faith is also a trust right it's a it's a trust because when you have faith in god you know um you trust him and you obey him and you love him. And one of the ways you love him is by obeying him. And one of the ways you love him is by loving others. So, yeah, man, there's uh, there's a lot to this whole being saved Jesus stuff, you know. Uh, it's, it's much more than a religion because God is real and Jesus is real. It's an actual relationship. And and uh, seek and you'll find, you know. There, there's a lot of people who don't believe it, but... um yeah this this is in the video for that and and um any doubts people have there's so many answers out there so seek and you'll find you know um yeah god bless you have a good day and i'm gonna do a short prayer feel free to pray along with me you can pray at any time uh there's no like magic magic words you know what i'm saying um it's just about god hearing us so um yeah um God, in Jesus' name, I just pray for everybody watching this uh, that they will be saved um, and that your will, be, your will will be done in their life. Uh, I hope you'll protect them, deliver them from evil and uh, give them what they need. And um, I pray for their forgiveness and faith and, and that they will just read your word and absorb it how you want them to and that it won't be a chore for them um, where you will it not to be. So, God, thank you. Um, I hope you'll fill us with your Holy Spirit and um, yeah, pl please give us the strength to receive receive faith in you and uh, repentance from sins. Um, and yeah, please give people an understanding and acceptance um, and, f and, and saving faith in Jesus' name. All right, lads, God bless you. Have a good day.